Hello, and welcome to another exciting video of how to play City Fair's Homecoming server. My name is Phil, aka JC Servant, aka Wildlight on Reunion Server. Uh, and welcome. We're going to today. We're going to talk about the. Um, we're going to talk about something. We're going to talk about the uh, Architect and AE Entertainment Center. I forget exactly what it's called, I'll be honest. Uh, we call it AE for short. I forget what it stands for. Not super important. Uh, but you will find AEs on certain maps. Uh, you'll see a symbol that says AE. But most of us use the one here in Pocket D. And this is a place where you can do missions designed by other players. So... The game has a plethora of stories for you to run. I, I think I did a video on, on Ouroboros where you can see dozens and dozens of story arcs that you can play through with all kinds of missions each. But we've also got user-made um, missions that you can play right here. And you can, uh, here in Pocket D, I mean, the setup is similar in most of these AE places. There's a terminals where you can pick your quest from. And then you're kind of kind of go in there and do that. So, and there's a couple of, there's a couple of big buckets of these missions. And by the way, you can design your own if you want to get into this. And that's beyond the scope of this video. Uh, but there are, there are missions that are kind of uh, adventurous missions that players have made that you can go in, you can check out, and you can have fun with. And then there's what we call farming missions that are specifically designed for you to go in and kill a bunch of bad guys in a row and get lots of XP. There are characters that are built to take advantage of this called farming characters that you can build. And you can level up very quickly and get a lot of money very quickly if you have a very high-end farming character and you're running farming missions here. This is where people did. I mean, back in the old days, we would do farming runs in the sewers or in places where there were high concentrations of bad guys. Nowadays, we can build our own concentrations of bad guys and higher concentrations than ever before. So characters that are designed that they take the particular type of punishment those monsters deal out can can do really well. Um, and and it really can kind of come in here. This is not the best search engine ever, and there's a lot of these missions in here. But there there are a few uh, options you can do there, and and you can show uh, you can show things that are completed, not completed, voted, not voted, matching your level, things like that. I usually for the most part just do. Um, text and you can put in here uh, like easy farm if you just want to come in here and beat up a bunch of mo bad guys do but you're you're still kind of you know you're still kind of learning this stuff you can do like the easy farm and find and find find one of these guys now you're going to see sometimes it's going to say things like fire farms those are farms made specifically for creatures uh, or i'm sorry for players who have a lot of fire defense so you build a character who farms who's really good against fire, and then you go into fire farms where all the mobs do fire damage, so you're going to be pretty resistant to what they can deal out, and you can kill them in spades. Uh, we're going to do this easy, easy farming here. It seems like it's kind of short, and we can kind of play this now. Before I accept this, uh, one thing you can do is you can actually modify the level of most of the quests you're about to go on, whether it's here in the AE or on the world or whatever. I don't know if I reviewed this in another video, but down here in the chat, you can hit this little chat bubble here and there's a thing called set notoriety yeah i think i did talk about this before notoriety and you can do adjust level or team size i'm gonna do i'm playing a blastery sentinel type of thing here with law light so i'm gonna do times three and do this easy farm and see if i can survive so we'll go ahead and hit play and then it gives you a choice between standard rewards and architect rewards. Architect rewards will give you tickets that you can turn in for like rare ingredients and such. Standard rewards are the ones you would normally get for beating bad guys on any mission. I usually do standard, but you can you can do both and see which ones you like. So once you've accepted the mission, you need to come over here to one of these holograms and just hit ask about available missions and accept just as if you were taking it from a quest giver. You have to do that step before jumping into the instance here. So this is the portal into the instance and the such. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate my hero super suit. Because all cool superheroes should be able to, to change into their into their you know, suit right before they go into an adventure. So we're going to go in here. And this is an easy fire mission. So I'm expecting some concentration of bad guys here. And what have you. Um, out here on the road. Now, I didn't turn it up too high, so I don't think we're going to see, like, huge packs. But uh, here we have a kind of easy pack here. I could have set this up higher, and I would have more of them. 
and they would be higher level. This should be no problem for, for Wildlight, I would think. I'm going to make sure my defensive toggles are turned on because I'm playing a Sentinel and they're pretty good at defense. As long as I keep those guys turned on. And then I'm going to go in here and show them who's boss. That's what I'm going to do. One of my favorite powers with the Sentinel here is the Nova Blast. Boom! So yeah, if, 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 if you ever just... Uh, the farming missions are also pretty good because sometimes you just want to go in and beat up a bunch of bad guys. And you don't want to have to look for glowies and get lost in caves and such, man. You just you just want to blow things up. And, and that's what that's what these things are really, really good for. Uh, they're really good for that sort of sort of blowing off some steam. Now, you can totally level up your character just doing these missions, whether you're focusing on farms or doing some of the extra story missions that people bring to the table. This is also a good, these are also good places if you got a new build, you can come in here and test them out in a, an environment where, again, you're not going to be spending and wasting a lot of time running around the world map or anything. You just kind of come in here and you will blow them all up. Just have a little fun there. I think that one missed there. So just give your give your builds a little test and see what you see what you think. A lot of these farming maps will have a glowy, so to speak. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, glowy is like an object that you normally have to touch or pick up or whatever to to in the in the in the uh, board. Just blow blow one of these up. Uh, you know, I should be using my inspirations. Like, I got these for a reason. I'm all full up over here, so I'm going to make use of those guys there. I'll help this go a little bit faster. But you see there, I'm going to get some pretty good XP and influence from doing all of these guys here. I'm going to run into this next pack here. This, I'm going to eat a couple of those enhancements, so I make sure I actually do some pretty good damage there. That should, that should make most of them regret ever getting out of bed, actually. Oh, aren't you cute? One thing I like about energy is just blasting them far away. Not gonna lie. Put on my trench coat. I'm a big fan of trench coats. I think with this power set, I actually have different colored uh, light beams there. So you'll see through this. So one of the things you can do in this game when you're customizing is you can actually customize the colors of your power. So you're going to see with this particular uh, costume slot where I have the trench coat on, my, my powers each have kind of a different light. So there we go. But this is just kind of a quick overview, and then, you know, with these farming missions, once you're done, he's like stuck there, that's pretty funny. Um, once you're done, you just need to find the, the glowy, uh, the, the glowing object here. We'll find that real quick, and we'll get out. I think I have a jetpack on. Wildlight for just such a purpose. And well, Wildlight, he actually uses the jumping power for getting around really quick. Uh, it's a very fast travel power, however... When you're just looking for a for a glowy marker, you, you jump around so fast you don't really get a great chance to see anything. And glowies do make the the music sound. There it is, right there. So we hit that, and that ends the mission. And there we go. But yeah, there's a lot of different kinds of missions. That's a farming mission. Farming mission really has no text, no nothing. It just gets you in there with a whole bunch of bad guys. You can, uh, you can of course do story missions that feel more like the missions from the game, and some of them have some pretty funny and hilarious uh, types of things going on with them. So I hope I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Again, if you want to see more of these, just let me know. Let me know what you're looking for. Let me know what questions you have. And I'll be happy to help answer any questions uh, uh, through videos or in the channel, or whatever. You can find me on Discord. I'm at JC Servant. Uh, you can find me on the Reunion server at Wildlight. And just hit us up and we'll get you into the supergroup. We have daily activities, daily farming runs to help level up characters very, very quickly. If you want to level up your alts or level up your main character, we can help you out with that. Help you earn some extra money as well. We do daily task force and we have really great fun doing big adventures together. So we'd love to see you there. But until then, thank you so much for watching this video.